I'm a true believer that you should do something that scares you every day. Whether that's going to the movie theater by yourself, having dinner alone, taking that dream vacation that you've always wanted to, or posing naked. So it's no secret that I'm a very confident plus size woman. I have learned to accept my body and to love my body every inch, every corner of it, or so I thought. I'm currently in Philly and there's an amazing photographer here called Cheyenne Jill that I've been dying to shoot with for a while. But the kind of photos she does are a little bit more sexier, racier, and empowering at the end of the day. And even though I've learned to feel comfortable shooting in bras and panties, in tight dresses, in crop tops, there's a specific part of my body that still terrifies me a little bit when I take a picture. And that's my belly. So now that I'm in Philly, I decided to hit up Cheyenne and let her know that I wanted to shoot with her. And though this wasn't the first time I was ever going to shoot in my bras and panties, I knew that I wanted to do something a little bit more different. As a plus size woman, I never grew up knowing that I can feel and be sexy. I was always the funny friend, I was always the cute girl, but I was never the sexy woman. I'm at a point in my life where I want to learn to feel sexy for myself. I think there's something so empowering about owning your sexuality, owning your body, owning who you are, and living your best life, honestly. So when Kelly asked me to go to Philly with her, I knew that this was the time I was going to shoot with Cheyenne. Facing two of my biggest fears, showing off my belly in a photo shoot, and being sexy. I packed up my luggage, I prepared some outfits for the photo shoot, and I came to Philly, and this is when I met Cheyenne. You know, there's this like idea of making curvy women look their best, right? Which is really just saying, how can we look our skinniest? I don't really feed into that um, mentality. This is Cheyenne Jill, an amazing boudoir photographer and someone who is going to change the way I see my body forever. This was going to be an amazing and scary experience, so I knew that I wanted to bring someone with me. So Kelly came with me to do the shoot as well. Once we arrived, Diane greeted us with open arms and a really warm smile and that made us feel at home. Kelly and I have had constantly shoot with different photographers so we always know that a lot of the photographers like to get straight to the point and move on because they have a lot of clients and we're all really busy so we just kind of go quick. This time it was really different. Once Kelly and I arrived, Cheyenne greeted us. She gave us a quick little tour of the studio which is stunning. One of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. with us, Cheyenne told us that she wanted to give us a little spiel about how she shoots, what she does, and how she wants us to present ourselves in the photos. Cheyenne can definitely tell that Kelly and I were really nervous and excited to do this because we were just telling her while we were doing our makeup, we kept asking her, okay, just tell us the spiel while we get ready, like we just want to hear it. And she just told us, no, finish doing your makeup, then come to the bed, and I will give you guys the little chat. And we did. We went to the bed with her. She sat us down and she began to tell us how she shoots. So I just finished in my makeup and Cheyenne just told us to come to the bed because she's gonna give us a quick little spiel and tell us what we're doing, if it's gonna hurt or not, and <laughs> I'm ready for it. Neither one of you have done a boudoir shoot before, right? No. Okay, but obviously you've been photographed a million times. So the way that I do things is I give a ton of direction. Okay, I'll walk you through everything. I'll show you every single pose. I'll walk you through everything. I don't shut up the whole time. I'm very controlling, etc., etc. Love it. <laughs> Me too. So I will be telling you exactly what to do. You know how sexy you want to get? Have you thought about it at all? I definitely want to be like full hoe, but I always feel feel like I can never go full hoe. I always feel like I'm so innocent and so like childlike mm -hmm. that I always have a struggle of like. 
how am I actually a sexual, sexy woman? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. I want to push myself out there and be able to like, be like, yes, this is me. I can be a sexy woman as well. I don't just have to be like the pretty funny friend or mm -hmm. like the cute person, mm -hmm. you know? I want to yes. be able to like push that out. Perfect. She began to tell us how she got into photography, why she decided to do boudoir photo shoots, and it was amazing to hear her story. Um, I came across boudoir photos and they were all very sexualized and all about the male gaze and there were high heels and footballs and like jerseys and that kind of thing. And you know, I was talking to my mom saying, I would love to photograph women, but not like this, you know? And she said, you know, you just need to make it your own. And then my mom was my first boudoir session. So um, I was photographing her. It was right after that conversation. And I watched her, someone who hated her body, who, you know, had very bad body image um, of herself. She totally, she was laughing and giggling and playing with her hair and having the best time. And that was the moment I knew this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. And from that point on, I stopped photographing any other, you know, I stopped photographing families and all that stuff. And I only shot boudoir. Once she really got into her talk and started telling us about how we should be posing, what to avoid, what to do, um, she started really questioning us and asked us some really personal questions. Something that I wasn't expecting. Do you want to hide your belly or do you want to work on loving your belly and having it in the photos? Um, I and think it's what you're comfortable with. I know some people want to like appease me and be like, when I guess I'll try working way, on it. I'm like, yeah. I I'm like, I guess I should work on like an arm. Like, should but I take on? No, I love that. I love that. Though. Once she questioned me why, it really forced me to think and consider and understand why I did not like my belly. The whole talk was a magical part, honestly, and probably one of my favorite parts of the photo shoot. She really had us dig in into our subconscious, into our minds, and trying to figure out the root of our insecurities. Kelly went first, and while she was being shot by Cheyenne, I was so excited to see Kelly open up and feel so sexy and comfortable with herself. It was very empowering and made me feel really comfortable to be there. I do want to do a mix. I think I want to okay. like start easy mm -hmm. and then get to the point where I don't feel like I'm completely hiding my belly, okay. where I can be like, yes, I'm like, proud of like every inch of my body for the shoot and for this moment. When you receive your photos, it might take you two months to kind of warm up to them and really look at them. Yeah. Um, some of my clients told me that that's what happens and others are like, holy fuck, like they just see themselves right away. So just keep that in mind and when you see your photos, if it feels scary or you're not ready, that's okay. You know what I mean? Everyone's going to react differently. but. Um, I do like to do, if you're comfortable with it, a mix of, if you want to hide it a little bit, mm -hmm. right? And then we can show it off. Yeah, I think I'm ready for the mix. Okay. So my look is on. I have a gorgeous uh, lingerie set from Playful Promises, which was the Gabby Fresh collection, you guys. And I feel so excited and everything, but I'm also really, really nervous. Um, having her talk about feeling free to show your stomach was like, very nerve-wracking for me and I'm very excited to see how it goes like to see how I feel throughout the shoot I was taking selfies and videos while I was waiting for Kelly to be done with her photos and then it was my turn At that point it got really really scary all of a sudden it clicked that I was going to be taking sexy photos in my bras and panties when they get here they're usually pretty nervous um, every once in a while I have someone who is like terrified to the point where she'll tell me she, you know, almost turned around and went home. Um, everyone's nervous, every single person. Some, very few people are like excited and nervous. Most people are terrified and nervous. <laughs> um, but that changes. He is currently finishing up with Kelly, which means that it is almost my turn. And I all of a sudden got, I was like chill. I was like, you know what? like. I'm not even nervous and then the moment that I realized it was almost my turn I just started like shaking and like I have so many butterflies in my stomach right now I am so nervous Oh my god Okay You got this Jess, you got this I even ran to the bathroom and I had to pee I got the nervous pees I came back, I knew it was my turn and that it was go time 
she was going to do a few photos where I would hide my belly because she knew it was my biggest insecurity and also a few photos where I was showing off my belly because at the end of the day I chose that I did not want to be embarrassed or have a lack of confidence because of my belly. When she asked me, are you ready to let go of that insecurity, that really hit me and I realized how dumb it is to be insecure about a body part that everyone has, everyone's so different, so what's the point of being afraid of yours? You yeah, guys, Cheyenne is amazing. Uh, Kelly and Cheyenne were just shooting and Kelly says something like, I'm nervous. And she says, are you really nervous or are you, or do you think you have to be nervous? And that really just hit me home. I'm like, am I really nervous or am I just like, Hmm, I think I'm expected to be nervous because it's something about my body and like showing like boobs and like thighs and I don't know. Let's jump right into something that's like hot. Okay. Is that good to you? Yeah. shooting Cheyenne compliments you but she compliments you in a way that's genuine and then it's not always about being sexy and pretty she's like oh yeah that looks strong that looks powerful that's amazing I love that pose things like that and instead of feeling like I have to sexualize myself I felt like I had to just be myself in the photo shoot I felt extremely beautiful and sexy I had never felt more at ease with a photographer in my life and I had never felt more beautiful This is so incredibly gorgeous from this angle. Like, <laughs> yeah. holy wow. How do you feel down there? I feel vulnerable, but I also feel really pretty. It's gorgeous. Like, Jess, I promise you, it's absolutely beautiful. Wearing the black lingerie with the robe. I felt like a goddess, honestly. And at one point, Cheyenne even yelled, oh my god, your belly looks so cute. If anyone said something like that, I would cringe on the inside. And when she said it, I believed it. The reason why I believed it is because I truly felt it. I truly felt beautiful at that moment, and I feel beautiful right now. While I was taking the photos, I kept thinking of how I wanted to be seen rather than how I was afraid of being seen. I started shooting, I did feel a little bit nervous about showing my belly, but as I progressed, I felt more and more comfortable to the point where I didn't even care anymore. I'm nervous but excited at the same time. This is style. I feel like this experience has been like so eye-opening and so liberating. Like I'm so comfortable with my body. Like having a complete stranger, I just met her today. Like this is something that just happened. I met her like two hours ago. After a while, after feeling so comfortable, she asked me if I wanted to do full nude photos. I don't know what possessed me, but I said yes. I felt so empowered. I felt so in love with myself, with my body, that I wanted everyone else to see it. First time ever, I did not feel embarrassed about my belly. And... This was a huge step for me. When she first showed me the photos and I saw my belly, instead of cringing or feeling like I was sinking in, I felt beautiful. I felt genuinely happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that one. <gasps> wow. My biggest size that I've ever been and I've never felt more pretty. I feel like this entire experience has taught me to see my body in a different way. Seeing my body via Cheyenne's eyes was a completely different experience. It reminds me how harsh we can be when we're judging ourselves and how mean we can truly be to ourselves. But we forget that when someone sees you it's 
new, it's fresh, it's beautiful. It reminded me that I should stop judging myself through the eyes of a stranger because at the end of the day, all that matters is how I truly feel about myself. you guys enjoyed this video this video was such an incredible experience for me thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe leave a lovely comment down below let me know if you would ever do this you can also find Cheyenne's information in the description box below go check out her Instagram and of course go check out my Instagram so you guys can see the photo that I selected bye see you in the next one